Good day to everyone. In this video, we will show you the local treatment of burn wound in a girl that is admitted to our department as an emergency case. The girl got burned by spilling hot coffee on herself. We see a 17 months old girl with a burn of the shoulder, chest and anterior abdominal wall on the right side. After removing the bandage, we clean the burn surface with a physiological solution. By this, we remove all the substances that are present as consequence of wood wetting and the bandage material. Locally, we see that the burn surface is red yellowish, there is no presence of blisters. Mild redness is present in the periphery of the burnt area. The burn surface is near 9% of total body surface area. The child received analgetics before dressing. This should be the standard procedure because Pain prevention is very important for quick recovery of the children with burns. After applying physiological solution, the burn surfaces are gently cleaned with an antiseptic substance sprayed all over burn area. This maneuver has to be followed by extremely gentle cleansing of the surface because it can be painful for the child. After treatment with antiseptic, physiological solution has been placed on the wound again to prevent irritation caused by antiseptic. After this, the complete burn surface has been dried by gentle pressing with sterile compress and in that way we prepare it for the further treatment. In this case, due to the assessment that mostly it was superficial, partial thickness burn and only small part of the surface was deep partial thickness burn. A decision was made to apply a hydrocolloid compress that has both bactericidal and bacteriostatic properties. For this child, we use 10 square centimeters compress and place them closely one to another. By this way, the entire surface of the burned area is covered, covered by hydrocolloid compresses. The girl is not crying and she is not scared. It shows that this procedure is not painful. Again, we have to say that this is very important because the pain is one of the main triggers of stress especially in the children with burns. By this treatment with hydrocolloid compress, we avoid mechanical trauma of the wound, which is common for other types of burn treatment. When this phase is finished, after hydrocolloid compress has been placed over the burned area, dry sterile compresses are placed over them one by one. We place dry sterile compresses continuously over the neck, shoulder, thoracic and abdominal part of the wound to cover all the surface where the hydrocolloid compresses has been placed. This is followed by placement of large absorbent compress. After this, when the complete wound is covered, we place the bandage of entire thoraco-abdominal region. The child is completely calm and without pain and that shows that this procedure was minimally aggressive. The next dressing of this child is planned for two days. Thank you very much.